Group 1 designated. Hello, Homeworld fans, and welcome to Hyperspace Cores at Dawn, where I must probably think of a better name for that, because that doesn't seem like an implement you duel with, but anyway. Destroyer complete. So, I realized in the last video I did, I didn't really show off, well, formations. So, while well, I did bring up, oh hey, formations are so much better now, I didn't actually demonstrate them in any way, so figured I'd set up to demonstrate them. Copy. So, first off, I have basically everything, just a large group of ships, because the first three formations are all about groups of ships of different types. So these are the ones from Homeworld 2, the Capital Phalanx, the Frigate Line, and the Fighter Screen. And to demonstrate them, obviously, I need to have multiple ships of different types. So we have the Destroyer, the a bunch of frigate, or a couple of Destroyers, a bunch of Frigates, and loads of Fighters and Corvettes. The first off is the Capital Phalanx, which, as the name implies, is all the capital ships in front, providing a defensive screen for everything else behind them. Relatively simple. Straightforward. Actually, I'm going to see if I can turn off... I guess I don't have to. Just deselect them. Yeah, so that's... The Capital Phalanx is just everything is... Oh, this isn't part of the formations? What the heck? Come on. Be part of the formation, you. So yeah, that's the Capital Phalanx. Then the next one is Frigate Line, which is... All the frigates in front, the fighters behind them, and the capital ships behind them. Not really sh I mean, I'm not really sure what these are used for out outside of the obvious reasons of, well, you want your capital ships to be a main firepower, or you want your frigates to be your main firepower, depending on what you're fighting against. Last one's Fighter Screen, which as the name implies, fighters are in front, frigates behind, and then behind them are the capital ships. So, relatively straightforward. The interesting ones come in when you're dealing with the Homeworld 1 formations. So, first one of that is Delta Formation, which is fairly obvious, and we'll just get these out of the way, so it's much more obvious. All of these can be demonstrated by fighters. I'm not going to really worry about the cap ships too much. They can do them. You can set up a bunch of frigates, for instance, to be in like Delta Formation themselves, and they will get into that formation. But fighters are faster. So yeah, Delta Formation, that's kind of a typical default formation for fighters, especially in Homeworld 2 races. This is the Kushan, one of the Homeworld 1 races, which does not have squads by default. You have to form them using the formation system. So, Reporting. this is what's typically used for fighters, is the Delta Formation, and it's kind of nice for speed. It's not great for... Def it's okay for defense, it's okay for offense. It's a decent, well-rounded thing. I mean, if you consider the physics of it, and that's the thing you gotta remember, is the physics of it. The way it works, you're not gonna get, like, shots towards, say, the main units are probably not gonna hit much. Like, they're on one line, so any any stray shots up or down are gonna be missing. But at the same time, only the front units have their weapons to bear, and the rest of them have to come in. So, it's like, it's sort of a staggered setup. And they have line formation, or broad formation, as it's called here, which has your ships in the line. The upside probably being that I think, I mean, I don't really know the, the ones I care about, honestly, are Delta and Claw, and a lot of these I don't use personally all that often. So I'm kind of guessing as to what their use is, especially line. I'm not sure what line is, but it's a line. The physics of it would, would imply that it's a bit less defensive than Delta, since stray shots to the left or right will more easily hit units to the left or right of the main units. Because in Delta Formation, those units are further back, so the angle is steeper. Like, if something misses here, but it's a wide shot like this, well, it's going to miss in a Delta Formation, it's going to hit in a Broad Formation. But it's easier to get weapons to bear. Then X Formation, similar to the others. Okay. Similar to the others, but a little bit more three-dimensional. Basically a three-dimensional line. Same idea, stuff gets to bear, but a bit less defensive. And then Claw Formation, which I really like using, is probably the most offensive formation because, as you can see, all of the attacks would come roughly the same time from all the units. Everything's... Like, if there's something in the middle of the formation, like right in front of this main unit, right here, everything can hit at about the same time, but Stray Shots are much more likely to hit anything. They're gonna hit something. 
Then the wall formation, which is the extreme case of the line formation in 3D. Although, unfortunately, hard to show with... Reporting get a couple... Copy. Ready. Copy. Get you and a couple Reporting. more of these, no. just to show an actual wall. But yeah, the wall formation, as pretty obvious, it's almost more of a defensive thing of stuff takes hits by being in this wall, because stuff's gonna get hit in this. It's not necessarily close to bear, but at the same time, stuff getting hit here means stuff behind it does not get hit. Confirmed. And then the last one is sphere formation, which kind of neat, can be used for defending things. You can actually sphere formation guard something, and that'll cause your units to be surrounding that unit, or you can sphere formation attack, which will cause your units to surround and attack the enemy. They won't maneuver while they're doing so, but they will they will surround them, and yeah, sphere guard. So I move this ion cannon frigate, and then all the rest of the fighters are going to be in sphere formation, just... So you can see each one of them has their weapons outside, on all directions. So yeah, sphere formation is probably my favorite formation of all the formations, because the rest of them, if I were to go, like, claw formation while it's guarding, well, they're just going to be in front guarding. Same with wall formations, just... All these are just set up around something to guard it. Like, they're guarding this thing. No, don't get it wrong, but... Or... You are guarding it, right? Standing by. But you... Acknowledged. Yeah, you're... You're uh, apparently guarding it. Strike group moving into position. Confirmed. But you know, it's not quite the same when it's not... Escorting friendlies. It's not sphere formation, which is... I think one of the best formations, and one of the coolest things that was added about the formation system, is the sphere formation. That's the one everyone was talking about, and I can see why. Anyway, that is basically it for the formations. Those are all the formations. I think Vager has a slight variation on a couple of these that the Kushan and Hagarans don't have. I'm not sure about Tyden. But that's pretty much it for formations. That's kind of the basic thing that I kind of, I wanted to demonstrate, and I thought I demonstrated last time, but hadn't. So now to actually find proper games. Actually, I'm going to split this off.